Few players have taken more flack in the hockey wars on behalf of the Toronto Maple Leafs than Boria Salming, who packed up this spring for the last time, it turns out, after 16 seasons with a team that was never really as good as he was. No other Leaf made six all-star appearances. No other Leaf defenseman ever came close to his 700-plus scoring points. And no other Leaf played so long and never got close to the Stanley Cup. And in the end, it was all that losing that got to Borea Salming. The last two years has been losing, a lot of losing, and uh, sort of started getting to my head. And uh, the media covers so well, and you always see it, and sort of... Uh, I think it was just time for me to move on, maybe after 16 years. He had some good times in the 70s, but uh, right now we finish in 19th place, so we're trying to improve, and you know, maybe two years from now we'll be in 8th place, which would be a significant improvement, and Borja won't be here in two years. So let's get on with uh, the younger guys like Shannon and Iafredi and Richardson and Todd Gill, who are moving back to defense. Let's get on with those guys and, and encourage them to come to the forefront. Salming was often seen as the coach in waiting for the Leafs, but that feeling was never mutual. You never know if he retires as far as he wanted to get involved in the organization. That's something we can look at down the road, but I don't think Borja really had any immediate NHL coaching ambitions. I told my family, too, when I quit hockey, I wouldn't be a coach. I mean, now it's going to definitely take off in maybe two or five years. So after 16 years in blue, Salming becomes a Red Wing. And while it's a long shot that it could ever happen again, maybe it was the image of another former Leaf holding the Stanley Cup that made Borja believe that hockey dreams can come true anywhere but Toronto. I had this good feeling like when I saw Lanny too it was just felt so good you know especially for Lanny because he's such a great guy and all that. So that's a good feeling and uh, I'm not putting down at Toronto at, at all I mean it's just like me I think I've been maybe here too long maybe I should have left earlier and uh, because uh, Toronto Maple Leafs and Harold and uh, you guys and the fans have been treating me so well there was no that's not why I'm leaving. It's just like maybe it's, I think it's time for me to move on to something else.